Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of EVE Online. Since last time, I did uh, the remaining uh, missions for the Industry Career Agent, except we've got this last one here, Making Mountains of Molehills 10 of 10, where they want a burst as an objective. Now they've given me a blueprint, a five room blueprint, so I can make some bursts. But I already have a burst from a previous mission. Now whilst the burst is quite useful to me at the moment, I could use it in future missions. I, I, you know, I never know what's going to be coming up in these missions. I might be getting better ships, plus I'll have the blueprints to make more if I want some. So for time's sake, I decided that I'm just gonna package my burst up and then let him take that and I will take the blueprint, I will take the wreath, and I will take the money. So I'm going to accept that mission. Yep. And then I'm. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got a bit of a bit of a tutorial here. She's telling us we don't have to sit around whilst waiting for stuff to be built. Let's complete that mission. There we go. So we lost the burst, but we gained a wraith. How much is a wraith worth? Well, the the wraith is actually worth uh, nearly double. Uh, so that's a fairly good trade really and I got the blueprints uh, to make more if I wish to make some more myself so there's the blueprints so we're getting a couple of bits of blueprints here too well that's the career industry one done uh, what else have I din done since last time well of course I've had more skills being trained let's go check that out so my character open training queue now let's see what we got left as you can see here we've still got a few things queued up Mass production and advanced industry is still sat there waiting to go, and uh, corporation management is now training level three at the moment. So, um, on that note, uh, oh, hang on, let's also go down here. We've got some notifications of recent skills that are finished. Um, corporation management, salvaging, 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 uh, mining frigate level three. So, we have had quite a few there. Also, Tidmouth's been online. Uh, he's been trying out the game, and I went and visited him. Uh, we went and did a little bit of mining. He got the materials he needed for a mission, and then we popped back again. Quite uneventful, that particular run, but uh, that's probably good for Tidmouth, as he's new. So, skills are still on the go. We've still got Mimitar uh, Frigate Level 5 at the bottom there, in case we run out of all the other stuff that we're working on at the moment. Uh, we haven't picked up any skill books recently, but I'm sure we'll get some of them soon. Let's continue on with the exploration career. Now, remember, I've already done some of these whilst I was doing the industry one and I was waiting for things to happen. So here we go. Now, this is almost exactly the same as the last mission that we did for the relic, uh, for the uh, in exploration uh, arc. However, uh, instead of uh, a data site, it appears to be a relic site. So uh, let's accept that. And uh, I'm going to just keep this ship and manually refit it again just so that we know exactly what's going on let's go into uh, oh I'm already in the right place um, now all we need to do is uh, put the probe scanner on probe sorry probe launcher and the scanner probes in there uh, I don't think I'm gonna need a miner so I will take that off I will put the other gun on and I will take off the afterburner and put in, well actually we know it's going to be relic so we could just put the relic analyzer on and keep the afterburner there we go well right, we've accepted the mitten, mission, we've fitted out the ship and uh, go to undock now we've got a, a thing down here, what's archaeology, it's telling us about the different things it's telling about the civilian uh, analyzer and it's telling us how to use it and asking us if we want to know more. Um, so we're going to have to scan that down. So let's launch the scan probes. And analyze the initial scan. Right, relic sites. We don't want to know more. We're done. So here's the map. There's the default formation that um, I chose. I launched the spread formation. And that's what usually what I do, is I launch the spread formation, do a quick scan, and then it comes up with a load of different ones. We want a relic site, there's a relic site there. After that, I go to the pinpoint 
formation. Now spread formation is good for just finding lots, pinpoint's good for actually, like it says, pinpointing it. Now we've actually got quite a small little circle there, so we're going, and what I'm doing is I'm changing the scan resolution of the probes. See that scan resolution there? It's probably too small, because if I move the probes, oh actually, yeah, if I move the probes into the area, you see they're not covering it. Whereas if I expand them out, get them to do a higher resolution. Now look, if I go at this angle, this is something that I love about this game. It's three-dimensional. It is truly three-dimensional. Now, a lot of the stuff's on the same plane because that's actually how solar systems work. And the way that happens is due to the spin of clouds as planets and nebula and suns form. But I won't go into the science of all that. Um, and that's why our solar system is largely flat. That's why my many solar systems are largely flat and it actually makes sense in EVE why many of them are flat. Though one thing that doesn't make so much sense in EVE is there seems to be a common agreement on which way is up. Um, it'd be nice to see some of the ships flying upside down for no reason whatsoever. Having said that, I'm sure that there must be some reason why they've done that or I guess people just aren't used to true three-dimensional, multi-directional anythingness. We're used to things being a certain way up. Right, let's see, where's that data site gone? It's now saying it's in that location. Well, let's move the probe slightly. Make sure that we're smack in the middle of it and do another scan. There we go. Yeah, I mean, we are used to things being always the right way up. If we see something the other way up, then it can confuse us sometimes, can't it? So I can, I can see why they've done that in the game. Right, we was at 70% before. Oh, 97% scan. See that signal on the right-hand side there? We're really locking it down. Now, we've got two options of where the scan probes thinks it might be. Now, because we're so close with the 97, it's probably this one here, I reckon. So I'm going to reduce the scan resolution and make sure that that square's as close to the center as possible and rescan, and that should do it. Unless it was the other one, in which case it's not going to do it. <laughs> it's not going to do it at all. And hopefully we can get this mission sorted out. This is the longest part of this mission, is finding where this blooming thing is. Oh! Now that was interesting. I got a zero. And that's because it wasn't that one. It was this one. Wow, that's a bit of a surprise. I thought I had the right one there. You never know. There are ways of guessing, and I suppose intuition can tell you sometimes, but I, I guess the wrong one. There we are. Looks like we're pretty much smack on target there. So it looks like we're going to be able to have that one. Let's get out of the map. As you can see, I'm just flying away from the station. You have to be anywhere in space. If I was in low security, I'd be going to either an orbit uh, of a moon or um, a safe spot or something like that. We'll talk about that sort of stuff uh, when we get closer to that sort of thing. But we found it, so I'm going to walk to zero. It's we'll telling us this is... Oh, hang on a minute. Stop, 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 stop. That's a data site. What am I doing? I want a relic site. Oh, what a flipping idiot. Right, here we go. Got to try again. I, I have no idea why, but I... I found I clicked on the wrong I either clicked on the wrong one or forgot what I was doing one or two. Anyway, relic site. There's the relic site, that little circle. Let's zoom in a bit more. Hopefully I can find this relic site re quite quickly, because I don't like spending time scanning. I don't mind scanning, I think it's a very good mechanic in the game. Um it's one of those things that is moderately simple to do, but it just adds that extra depth and breadth to the game, which is uh, always lovely. Right, how many are we going to get on this first scan? About 70%? None? Why did we get that? Let's expand the scan resolution slightly and rescan. Hmm, that's weird. Why, why didn't I... Why was I unable to find that? You notice that uh, now we've scanned the data site, it will stay there, and it will stay there unless we leave the system and come back in again. Right, we've got a 48% on the relic site. You can see it's actually over here somewhere, somewhere within that red section. So that should pretty much cover it.
There we go. So we're trying to just really get it down. 48%, we're probably going to get this one up to more closer to the 70 mark. Let's just check local. 30 people in system at the moment. It's a moderately busy system. And we've lost it again. This relic site is going to be a little bit of a, a pain to scan now. Well, I'll pause the recording here. I'll do a couple of scans and try and pinpoint it. I'm not going to sit, you, uh, sit here any longer scanning, and I will be right back. Well, it only took me actually one more scan, and I actually got the uh, relic site up to 95%. Sometimes it's a little bit hit and miss. Uh, you don't always... Um, you can be so close to actually getting it and just not. Uh, I'm bringing the resolution down one notch, and I'm just... Uh, placing it right over it and that's going to enable enable us to uh, scan it up to 100% and warp to the site finally um, let's skip back I'm going to press F10 to close the map you don't have to be in the map to scan but it does help to see what you're doing there's the relic site let's warp to it there we go relic site training area thank goodness for that We can recover our probes now. And if we want to, we can reload our probe launcher. As with pretty much loading everything, it takes 10 seconds. Here we are, we're in, we're in here. Ahead of you, you should see a training container. Uh, you'll need to use the civilian what's it. Okay, let's, let's uh, approach that container and um, we are going to target it when we come into targeting range let's use the afterburner to get there quicker maximum speed goes up to 762 meters per second when, when I'm using this afterburner so that's pretty good you can see it takes a little bit of time to get up to top speed but uh, we are getting close to that training container very quickly so now I can lock it and I can stop my afterburner and use the relic analyzer. Right, the mini game. I kind of like this. I reckon usually the um, the core is on the opposite side uh, to where you start. Here's where we start. Here's the nodes that we can go to. Um, and I reckon it's probably going to be over here or over there uh, so that's the direction I'm going to head towards first there's no node there so let's go here 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 and here oh it wasn't where I guessed okay let's continue along the oh there it is not far it was pretty much directly opposite there you see um, very often I try to go around the edge sometimes um, because then if you get blocked by a virus you can go around the other way but there we go hack successful Let's open it up, take the proof of discovery, and get on home. Warp drive. No need to hang around here now. We just have to get back with that uh, proof of discovery. While we're flying in space, we may as well load our guns up. Just in case we need them next time. We'll probably end up cha changing the ship out, knowing me. Um... But there we go, we're going to get uh, a few different... We're going to get a skill book and some money for completing this one. Four or five, I'm hopeful that I get rid of... Uh, not get rid of, but I'm hoping to do all of these in this episode. So let's get going on that. Okay, so complete the mission. Done. Brilliant. Request the next mission. Okay, so we get a probe. Ah, this is brilliant. Yes. Um, right, so what do we want to do? We want to uh, acquire these goods. Proof of discovery. Okay, something came up, might be just down your alley. Um, as soon as you accept the mission, you'll be provided with the pass key into the second area. Okay. So they want us to... Well, they've create, created an artificial gas cloud. Um, you can only concern is to make it through to the second area to bring the proof of discovery, right? So it's kind of a just go fetch it thing let's I don't think we need any of the analyzers for this one I think we are literally just 
scanning down a glass uh, a glass cloud a gas cloud oh hang on hang on abort 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 hang on a minute what well, i've got the uh right that would no what's going on let's just read the details again quickly but i've still got the proof of discovery in my inventory i did let's do um personal asset search I'm sure I had proof of discovery still in that yeah this is the gas pass key I need that bit of a silly mistake there right uh, we're 14 kilometers away from this place apparently damn it this is why you've got to check before you <laughs> before you leave Come on, get there, get there quicker. Dock up. Dock. Yeah. Oh dear. It's a good job I've got this afterburner. It makes things go a little bit better. I will see you when I get back outside again. Okay, so I'm back outside. And this time I've got my proof of discovery key with me. Uh, I'm going to set my probes into a spread formation and do a scan. We're looking for a gas one this time. I'm just going to fly around. I don't. Where do, I don't. I think I must have double clicked in space because he's heading off in a different direction now. That space station looks good though. Right, gas site. We've found one already. Brilliant. Let's get in the map. Now the gas site is here in the middle. Let's do pinpoint formation and just try and reduce uh, uh sorry increase that signal there right let's get back to space i wish i owned a space station like that that'd be quite cool you can make player own structures uh they don't quite take this format they're more of a anchored uh, a collection of anchored parts in space inside a shield they're quite cool we're going to probably try and do that hey, look, gas train inside already brilliant Let's warp to it, recover our active probes. And you, you need a corporation to be able to have um, your own little base. But I'm sure I'll be able to do that sometime soon. <laughs> he says. Alright. Let's get this mission nailed. Uh, where are we? Right, here we are. Acceleration gate. We need the key to get through the gate, I think, so... Let's activate the gate. Warp drive active. Yeah, that's what we needed the key for. The gate wouldn't have activated without the key. And there is the gas cloud. Uh, there's a beacon and a training container. So I'm going to head towards the training container. Uh, blah, blah, blah. It may not be a document immediately available find your container empty it okay we're gonna we're gonna have a look inside this container oh there's our proof of discovery sorted brilliant now this is gas site uh, scanning five of five it says so i have no idea what that's about let's dock up and i think that might might be the end of the career arc in which case we've got a few other things to do today that there's a few new st stuff, and it's stuff I haven't done in a long time, so I'm quite interested to see how it works out. There we go. We're, getting, we're going to get a nice ship out of this one. A very nice ship. It's probably going to be our default ship for combat for a little while, actually, to come to think of it. There we go, docking up. There we go, we're back. Let's speak to this person here. Uh, objectives complete. Complete mission. Jobs are good. And no new missions from there. That is the exploration part done. Yes, I'd done most of it whilst we were doing the Industry 1, but never mind. Let's have a look in our hangar, ship hangar now. We have a probe. That is going to be a nice little ship for us to uh, fly around in. I do like the look of it. Uh, I do fly Tech 2 versions of that quite often. Uh, we get um, bonuses to core uh, combat scanner probes and 5% uh, reduction in salvage duration 
and a plus five bonus to relic and data analyzer strength. This can be our scanning ship if we want to start doing some scanning, which we do. So I'm going to probably fit that out sometime soon. However, um, there's a few things like I said I want to do. Today, we're going to try and start a corporation. Okay, so let's have a look here. We've got I've moved some of these uh, icons around on the left hand side here. The ones that I use the most often I've put near the top. Uh, the ones I don't use so much are uh, lower down. So here we go. This is the corporation tab. Uh, let's go home. Let's see what we've got here. Now, this is the current corporation we're in. Uh, the Republic Military School. It's a NPC corporation. Uh, the tax rate is 11%, so they're getting a lot 11% of the bounties and stuff that I get in. Don't want that, so we're going to go create a new corporation. And this is something that I have... I don't think I've ever created it at my own corp. Um, actually, no, I might have created the first corp. Corporation name. Let's see if we can get... Hmm... Let's see if we can get the League of Super Ultra Mega Geeks all the way in there. We can. Right, what is... Let's have a look. Ticker. L-O-S-U-M. Hmm. Look, can I type it in? Ah. Oh, we can't get... Um, we can't get the G in there. Oh, that would have been nice to actually have it as low sum in the ticker. Looks like uh, that is a maximum value of 5. How about, can we have Sung? Hmm. Yeah, this is, this is not what I'd hoped. Um, I was hoping to get the whole ticker in there. Try some, I guess. Uh, then we need the home page. Well, I'm going to just go get that from my. It is, of course, just uh, losum.net. Oh, no, we don't want the HTTP in there twice. Uh, tax rate. I'm going to put a tax rate on there of 5% because it costs to keep the corp running. So. Um, yeah, we'll leave it like that for now. And what was the other thing? The flag, yes. So you can choose different layers. So if we have hmm, blue, there's not a very dark blue, is there? It's like a golden crusty thing. Let's start with the background. Um. Oh, hang on a minute. Hmm, there are several different types. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I do think I do like this one, but I don't know if the colours will suit. That's not far off. There's low some sort of style. Um... Let's just check a couple of the other uh, options. The smaller one, possibly. Um, the lines. Uh, the grid lines. I mean, we can't have grid lines going in two directions, can we? Let's close. No, I didn't mean to do that. Um, let's have a look. Do... Hmm. Nah. Right, in that case, <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to have the checkered in the back. This one. Or the tighter one. The tighter one. We're going to have the tighter one in the background. There we go. This middle section, we're going to have like. Uh, I kind of like the thing that's there, but I want it a bit. I don't know. A bit more solid. Or something. Just like more of a base. 
Ah, uh, actually. Hmm, yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Now, we need uh, an emblem of some description. Now, I kind of like these stars. Um, it kind of signifies a number of people together. Also, um, a shield would be quite nice. Um, but there's there's crowns and swords and I think a league, a, a kind of a league of people makes more sense to be uh, like a group, like a, a number of things. Um, so I think the stars actually make more sense. Although the red colour doesn't stand out very well on the blue. The black doesn't stand out at all. Um. Oh, actually the yellow stands out quite nicely. I'm not sure about this middle section still. Um. Not sure about... Not sure about that. Perhaps, perhaps this low sum border would be best. Is the middle not transparent? Yes, the middle is transparent. So perhaps, hmm, I kind of like that. Kind of like that these stars though do we have anything tighter for the stars something smaller see the more star the, these two stars are on a bigger ring set I'm thinking that background is too busy for those stars um, which is a shame really Unless we do a bigger one like that. Or like that. Ah! There. I like that. That's pretty damn cool. Okay, in that case, let's do that for the bottom one. And for the middle one, we can have... We can just play around with some of these to see if we want something different. Like a ring kind of like the idea of having the ring around it oh oh that looks good yes yes we'll have that I'm happy with that yeah I like that the League of Super Ultra Mega Geeks nice little cool crosshairs in the middle checkered background and the orange stars um, the only thing I'm not happy about is the fact we can't get loathsome in the ticker. Um, we could just call it Super Ultra Mega Geeks, but we're going to have some. We're going to see what that is like. Uh, we don't have to enter description right now. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put description uh, coming soon. Or, no, description soon. And I will do that in between episodes. I'll figure out exactly what I want to put in there and I'll get it put in there. Right, so let's see if we can submit that. There we go. There we go. Corporation made. Fantastic. Now, we do not have a corporation wallet selected. You will not be able to engage in any corporation related activities without the current wallet division. You can always change your corporation wallet by clicking change okay right would you like to select a corporation wallet division now yes master wallet okay there we go wow there we are um we've got currently got our headquarters here uh we are going to move that though we'll do it differently 
Uh, I'm the only member at the moment. Oh, let's have a look see what the website looks like inside Eve. Huh. The website looks uh, pretty good actually. I mean, when it's um, the website's designed so when it's quite small in a browser or in a mobile device, it puts the menu beneath the content. Um, but if like you've got a proper sized web browser or you're looking at it on a tablet or something, the tab uh, the menus do come over here to the right hand side. Um, so yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so uh, that's the main part of the corporation made. Uh, we're going to have a look now at some other items within that. So this corporation tab is going to become quite important. Uh, so I'm going to kind of make it bigger because there's going to be quite a few things I want to check on it. Let's go, let's just make it sort of this. There we go. Right, recruitment. So we can, uh, this is for me to recruit, recruit I think. These are current members. I don't know if I can invite members. What's this? Search for adverts posted by corporations. No. Uh, we can actually put some ads in, which I'm not going to do. Applications and applications to corp. There isn't any applications at the moment. Um, so, can I... Can I drag that into chat? Yes, I can. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an Eve mail to some of the league that are already on Eve. Let's see. Personal assets. People and places. There we go. People and places. Uh, P contacts tab. And we're going to send Eve mail. Uh, start message. Send message. Yeah, here we go. Send message. Um, there's the corp. Yeah, we're going to have to pay some monies to start that off with. And then Tidmouth, we're going to um, invite to... Uh, where is he? Send message. That's all I want to do is just send a message to him. I can't... Oh, I can. There it is. I swear they move these things around. There we go. So there's the two guys that we've got on here so far notified about that. If you wish to join the League of Super Ultra Mega Geeks on EVE, you may do so. Uh, we will accept anybody and everyone on the low levels. We're not going to force anybody to do anything in particular. Um, we're probably going to control somewhat the kind of activities that we do as a corp, but what you do as an individual is pretty much up to you. Um, I just need, I need to adjust that tax rate though. How do I change the tax rate? Not sure. Can't do it on that bit. How can I do it here? No. Details, recruitment, members... Standings, home, bulletins, details. Um, that's members, standings, wars. We're not in any wars at the moment. We haven't had any votes. Got no assets, no alloys. It's all new. Okay. Um, edit details. That's what I was looking for. So it's not a 0 0.5 tax rate, it's a 5% tax rate. There we go, that's that sorted out. Uh, I got a notification, I think I got a notification that the tax rate changed. Yeah, seven seconds ago. Uh, so, oh, what's this insurance? Oh, that's when I docked without uh, any ship and they gave me a Reaper. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want that. Delete all. Thank you very much. And do I have corporate contacts, miscellaneous, old, unread, emails? There's just one from Tidmouth saying about his mission that he was doing that I told you about I went and helped him with. So for now, until we get some members in the League of Super Portrait Mega Geeks... Um, there's not much for me to do. I can't assign roles, I can't give access rights and so on and so forth. 
Um, so that's it. That's it for now. We've created the uh, corporation. Job's done for now. We'll come back to that later and squeak it all out. It took me a little while to get the corporation flag um, how I wanted it, but in the end, I am very happy with that. So, jobs are good. Um, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go to my character sheet, and I'm going to go to my bio. And I think anybody can read this, uh, in which case I'm going to do, uh, do this. I'm going to give them the link to my uh, League of Super Ultra Mega Geeks page. So there we go. Uh, I might put more information in there later, but we'll we'll leave it like that for now. Right, skills are all training up. Um, we're going to make a start on military soon. It'd be nice to actually get some of them done. But I've got a feeling I'm forgetting something. I, see, I really do feel like I'm forgetting something. Industry, corporation... Personal assets, no, that's all okay. Tutorial, we're fine on the tutorial. We don't need help. Character sheets are good. Yep, yeah, I'm fairly sure everything's all right here. So I'm guessing we're going to start the military one soon. Um, so let's do that. Let's let's start the military one early. Here we are. So here's the first conversation in the military one. They're saying uh, we'll get the repair system skill, uh, we'll get a Gatling auto cannon for finishing, and some ammo as a bonus. What we have to do is clear the pirates at the asteroid belt, um, and that's it. So let's accept that. We're going to uh, have a look at the tutorial here. It's talking about optimum range, and it's telling us to undock before continuing. I'm not going to undock. I'm going to strip my ship down. I'm going to strip my ship down because we're going to fly a different ship. We're not going to be using this mining ship anymore. It hasn't got decent. It hasn't got any bonuses to anything I want. We could probably start uh, these uh, beginning military ones uh, in the repo, but we're going to uh, assemble the probe up, and we're just going to use the probe for now. So we're going to make that one active. There we go. We're going to use its speed uh, to our advantage. Uh, market delivery. I, I have no market deliveries, and. Can I plug in that skill? I don't think I can. No. Right, okay. Um, I'm going to put some cannons on it. There we go. Let's get the uh, small shield booster on there. Let's get the afterburner on there. It's looking good. Uh, let's load it up with some ammo. So, let's put... Some, I'm just going to use EMP to start with. But as I get more ammo for different things, then I will play around with it. Um, I'm going to take the ammo out of my venture, so uh, and put it in this one. And I'm going to take these bits out of here and drop them in my hangar while I'm there. There we go. Right, so we've got a basic ship set up. Um, we've accepted the mission. Let's undock. And then we're going to go and kick some people in. Well, it's not some people, some pirates. Okay, let's warp to location. Warp now they're telling us about the weapons. Uh, they're telling us how to find an action. They're telling us about orbiting. Asking us if we'd like to know more. Oh, that's it, I'm quite happy. There's our new ship. I quite like this ship. Uh, like I said, we're going to fit it out to scan down sites, data and relic sites, and probably go out and hunt for some goodies. We won't do it around here, though. We will find a new system to do that in. Once we've done these career mode things, we're not going to hang around for too long. Well, there's our first victim. I mean, target. Same thing. Uh, so we're going to uh, try and orbit this guy. He's within 14, so we're going to lock him up. And the optimum range on these guns is very small at the moment. If I hover over it, it gives us some information. Um, fall off range... Optimal is within 400, so we want to be a very tight orbit. So I'm going to wait until we're in that, that range there and start shooting. Yeah, his shields are going to get minced. Oh, wow, he got minced. Um, I'm going to approach uh, the wreck, and I'm going to loot it as we go. 
So we've got some metal scraps and then I'm going to head off to this guy over here. As soon as he gets within 14 I can lock him up. So I'm heading towards him now. I'm going to put my afterburner on. There we go. He's locked up. I'm going to wait until I'm within about 4 kilometers of him and then light up my guns. We're going to orbit him very quickly. 5, 5, 3, 4, 4, 8, 4, 4. We're at 3 kilometers. There we go. Weapons firing, and we miss completely. Of course we do. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow, we took out his shields and, his, and most of his armor there. Kablamo. Good. Right. Nothing in his um, wreck, so let's go on and move to the next. These two hijackers are coming in. They snuck in after we blew up the first ones. One of them's in targeting range now, so I'm going to target him, and uh, I'm going to orbit him. Not going to shoot yet, though. Oh, now I'm going to shoot. We're very close. He was heading towards me. I'm heading towards him. Oh, this turret sounds a little bit. Let's just do audio. Uh, quieter weapon sounds. There we go. Going to orbit this guy as well. Lock him up as well. There we go. Oh, it's taken a minute to lock him, but there we go. Weapons free. And we only did 14 damage at first on him, but then 12, 15, 19, and he's done. And I think, yep, that's the mission's done, so we can go back and dock. What's this here? It's like an old space station that was made out of uh, some asteroids. Do you think they maybe maneuvered those asteroids into place to try and build that station? Not sure. Oh well, no more loot from that. That's a little bit disappointing just to get one piece of metal scrap, so it'd have been nice to get just that little bit more. Um, but never mind. Never mind. Right, let's dock up, get this mission done, and uh, yeah, we're making a start to the military stuff already. We'll have these done in no time, and I'm hoping by the end of the next episode we will have all of these career arcs done, and we can start going and doing more stuff that we want to. So let's uh, complete that mission. Fantastic. It's telling us about the repair shop, but we don't need the services at the moment. Uh, and it's telling us how to repair modules. Right. Uh, let's just have a look at our item hanger here. Go down the bottom. Um, I think it gave us... Repair systems. I don't know whether I can. Can I inject that skill? There we go. Afterburner. We've got that. Industry. Got that. I think archaeology is a new one. So let's try and inject that. There we go. Hacking. I don't think. No, that requires electronic upgrades. Negotiation. I think we're good on that one for now. So let's just get repair systems into the training queue. No, wait, that was corporation management. There we go. It's only going to take us uh, about just over four hours to do that one. And where's the other one that I plugged in? There it is, archaeology. Let's get that in there as well. Let's probably actually put it at the front. That's probably more important to me. There we go. That's going to take quite a while. Let's apply that and uh, request the next mission. So, we're going to get motion prediction and a slasher from this res uh, for rewards. Um, what is the thing? It's acquire these goods, civilians. Uh, rescue them. So basically, go out there. Um, oh, that's it. Let's go out there and get the civilians. Right. Let's uh, accept that and head straight out. Okay, so they're telling us about guns, telling us about loading. It wants us to undock. Let's click the undock button properly. That would help. Um, this woman looks a bit funny, doesn't she? She's got her eyes closed by the looks of it. Right, here we go. Right click on the contextual menu, blah, blah, blah. Types of charges. What would you like to know more? We don't want to know any more, thank you very much. We just want to do the missions and uh, get the money and get all the ships. Probably one of the best starts you could have in EVE is to do all of uh, all of these missions and get all of these ships and stuff for free. Well, not for free, but for doing the missions. 
And that is, of course, unless you don't gift yourself uh, money or items from another character, or, or you don't have a friend that gives you stuff when you start. I haven't given Tidmouths anything, apart from a bit of stuff that we mined together. Right, so we've got some hijackers over here. Let's uh, keep at range 1,000. We'll head over to them. In fact, we're, I'm just going to do an orbit straight away on that dude. Let's light up our afterburners. I'm going to move these around. Come on. There we go. So we were travelling at 400 metres per second in this craft. Now our maximum speed is 844 in this one. That's quite cool. That's good Good speed, that. They're try they've locked me. They're trying to get close. And I wonder what's my target... Oh, my targeting range is a lot further on this ship. It is... 32 meters, right, so that means I can get this guy I can tell my system to orbit him and we're going to light up the weapon systems when we're in about 4k we're in about 4k now so there we go we haven't done any damage yet, oh no we did 26 damage oh and another 29 and 5 that blew him up we're going uh, to get this guy and we're going to orbit him, fire the weapons. We're fairly close as we are. Oh, we missed anyway. Lock up the next guy, because we can only have two targets locked at, uh, at a time at the moment. But we're only shooting one at once, so that's not too bad. There we go. We've got a 12 and a 22 and a 19 on him. And another 4 and he's gone. This dude over here is quite a distance away, so I'm going to set to orbit. There we are. Ship turns around. He's locked up. He's in range. Let's fire those weapons. Yep. Yeah. Excuse me. And that's another one gone. Right, let's check out these wrecks. So. The first wreck over here. Let's turn off the afterburner. We're going a bit too, <laughs> a bit too quick almost. Oh no, two more incoming. We've got two lots of metal scraps. Let's orbit the next one, light up that afterburner again. We're going to orbit the first guy. Just wait until we're in about four kilometers. He's hitting me now. Let's shoot him back. We miss completely again. We need more skills in tracking and stuff, but not doing too bad. Let's uh, orbit this guy. Shoot him with both weapons. Yeah, he's as good as gotten too. Come on, blow up. Oh, look how much hull he's got. He'll be on fire and everything. And there's his wreck. Let's head towards his wreck. Nothing in his wreck. Well, there is a cargo container though, so let's go over to that cargo container. It's just there on the screen. And there's the civilians we need. Perfect. Back to base then. Dock up. Warp drive active. Right. Why is the people in places flashing at me? I don't know. Not quite sure why that changed. Oh well, I'm not. Yeah, the the people and places was flashing at me, and I I don't know why, but never mind. Uh, Stocking where's my assets? Mail. Hmm, not quite sure. Ah, here we go. Right, we're back. We've got us. We've got the civilians for you. Let's complete the mission. Fantastic. Right. Uh, let's just uh, have a look here. Where's my inventory? There it is. Um, we should now, in our ship hangar, have a slasher. Let's show info on that. So this one gives bonuses to small projectile turrets. So this is actually better as a combat craft than the one we're flying at the moment. Uh, so we're going to switch to it. There it is, in all its glory. So let's make, uh, let's assemble it, and we're just going to strip the fitting 
on the ship we're on, so strip fitting just takes out all the modules. There we go. Then we're going to make this one active. Accept the mission. There we go. It's going to tell us about webifiers. Um, I know a bit about webifiers already, so it wants us how to uh, how to equip the module and so forth. Now let's. Um, Destroy the pirates, loot the secret documents, and uh, report back. So here's our ship. Nice little thing. I think it looks like a wasp to me. Just reminds me of a wasp. I don't know why. If, if you disagree, I completely understand. But you can see with this one, we've got three turret hard points. High, uh, four high slots, some mediums. It's, it's a lot better, this ship, for combat. So let's get some of these Gatling cannons in there. There we go. It's one, it's two, let's put another one in. Yep. CPU and power grid are looking good on that. Let's put the civilian shield booster in. Uh the stasis webber fire. There is already something in that location. I want to move it to there actually. Stasis webber fire. Have I got the skills to do that? I have got the skills to use that. Uh and then the afterburner. There we go. Looking pretty good. Um well, that's the civilian shield booster. I didn't want that. I wanted the small one. There we go. What's this passive barrier? Let's have a look. Show info on this one. I need shield upgrades level 3 to use that, though. That's unfortunate. Uh, it gives us a shield recharge rate bonus of 10.5%. Well, that would have been quite nice to use. Never mind. Uh, let's um, stack all on this. There we go. We've got four expanded cargo holds. That's pretty good. Uh, now, if we've got everything active, our shield, uh, our capacitor will be deplete in 24 seconds. However, if I don't use my um, shield booster, we're stable, which means I can use my afterburner and web fire constantly, and I'm fine. So that's good. Uh, let's turn that back on, though, because we want to be able to use that if we need it. Uh, let's take out all the ammo there, put it all in our ship. Where's the other ammo? I'm sure I had more ammo. Let's just check the probe. Yep, there's the ammo still in the probe. Let's transfer all the ammo over and bring the metal scraps into my item hangar. We've accepted the mission, so let's undock and use our brand new ship. Wow, three guns and a web of fire. These guys have not got a chance. So, here's our ship. Before we get head out, I'm going to do a reload on the... now. Uh, can I reload them all? I'll tell you what, we're going to group them. We're going to put them all in one massive group. We're going to reload them with EMP. We're going to move these items up to here. Come on, move up. There we go. So, now, let's walk to the location, to the Dead Space Encounter. Is it a Dead Space Encounter? Should be. Yeah, Encounter Dead Space. And here we go, in our brand new ship with three weapons and a Weber. I'm looking forward to this fight. Now, in terms of fighting, are we going to be doing a lot of that? I don't know. There's a possibility that our corporation could get war de decked. Um, if somebody declares war on us, then, you know, so be it. We'll, we'll have to see what we can do about that. Maybe we'll be in a position to give it a go. Maybe we won't. Now, what's my maximum targeting range is 22 for this ship. So there's the first one. Let's orbit him. And let's now what's the maximum range on the web? 10k. Okay, let's get the afterburner on. We're waiting for that 10k to come in. There's the 10k, so now we're webbing him. And that webbing him makes him a lot slower and now we're going to shoot all three weapons at him. Wow. Let's orbit this Weber drone. Let's web the Weber drone. Now, see, we were webbed there. So that means we're moving slower. Let's lock up the next two targets. We're going to orbit this one. We're going to web him and fire up the weapon straight away. Oh, yes. They're all going pretty good here. Let's web this next one. Orbit him. Target the next guy always get things targeted as soon as you can 
We're close enough to the runner drone now to shoot the runner drone. We missed, though. Oh, we just did a load of damage. Drone. Brilliant. Now let's orbit this guy, web him, and we're not close enough really to start firing the guns yet, I don't think. So, oh, now we are. There we are, within within 4K. And the reason why I wait for 4K because if you have a look here, the fall off range is 4K, and the optimal range is 400. So it, around 400 either side of that 400 meter, sorry, around 4K either side of that 400 meters, it's not too bad, right? Let's head towards this hijacker. There we are, heading towards him now. We're close enough, so I'm going to operate that web and shoot. Wow, one volley, a single hit of 60. I don't know if that was a single hit or a single group. Uh, there's only one lot of loot here, so let's head towards that loot. Take off the after... Nah, no, we'll leave the afterburner on. Oh no, there is more loot. First of all, let's go to the cargo container. Where's the cargo container? Oh, there it is, in that wreck. Secret documents? Check. Now, before we head back, let's just go to some of these other wrecks and pick up the loot from them. I do like this area here. It looks very nice. All these asteroids. Nice scenery to fight in. Uh, let's take those metal scraps. May as well. You never know what you're going to get dropped in these. With these uh, tutorial missions, though, I don't think there's anything really that good in them. There we go. Let's open up this last one. We're getting quite close. No, I'm very happy with the way this ship performed in that particular fight. I think we... Oh, we got a, a, a Tech 1 component. A 125mm light machine gun. Um... Now that's a machine, not the Gatlin, so it's a little bit different to what we're using. Let's head back now, dock up. Warp drive active. Oh yeah, I do like this ship. We'll be using this one for a little while, I think. Yep. Yeah. Well, we're coming up towards the end of the episode today, so we... Uh, we finished off the industry, we did uh, what was left of the exploration, and we've just started the military. So, a bit of everything today, um, and also we started the corporation, so hopefully we can get that rolling. Like I said, if you want to join the corp, please feel free to send an application. Uh, it'd be nice if you sent me a message saying what you like doing, how long you're on for, and stuff like that. But... Um, here we go, let's complete this mission. Nice one. Let's close that off and see how we're doing on our item hanger here. Let's uh, right click, stack all. There we go. Now contracting is a new skill. Let's can, Is it? No, no, we need social. We keep needing social. Propulsion jamming, that's a new one. Let's inject that skill. Motion prediction, let's inject that skill. Uh, I think hacking, yeah, hacking we don't, we can't do yet until we get electronic upgrades. And when we finish the careers, these career missions, I'm going to get all the prerequisites of these ones and get them trained up. Now, let's just go into our training queue. Now, let's have a look. So here we've got motion prediction, which is a really good skill for us to have. It gives us a 5% tracking speed bonus at each gunnery level, so that's going to be really useful for these military missions coming up. So uh, let's pop that right in at the very top. Train to level three, apply. Brilliant. Uh, what was the other skill that I popped in there? Let's have a look, see if I can find it. Um, here it is in electronic systems, propulsion jamming. Uh, we will be doing that probably at some point. Let's uh, get that trained up anyway to level three. Uh, as a general rule, it is better to have loads of skills trained up to level 1 than it is to go to level 2s. But I've got plenty of time between episodes to let all these train up. So, until I do see you next time, uh, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the episode, remember to give it a like. If you've got any thoughts, ideas, or any questions, please 
pop them down in the comments below. If you'd like to know anything more about me, you can follow that link or go to losom.net. My details are all there. And along with uh, all the information about the events we do as well. But that's all for me. Thank you. Fly safe. Goodbye.